Before we begin the video, if you haven't yet, come on down and join my Discord server. Link is down in the description. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for another video. Exciting news today because last night we actually got our very first Season 13 set images. So yeah, this info actually came out last night around 12 hours ago or so, and I apologize because I'm a bit late, but last night when it came out it was like 8pm, at which point I wasn't really going to record a video. But yeah, we have about half of our Season 13 sets, and the majority of our Legacy sets. It remains to be seen when the rest of the images will be leaked, but for now we'll talk about the ones we have, and I will be showing images in this video. So here is the Firestone mech, and wow, this set is really impressive. Even back when we had the prelim images, it looked pretty cool, and it looks even better here. So first of all, we can see Cole in the bottom left corner. He is the mascot character for this wave, so hopefully he'll be the focus. Also, where the Ninjago logo is seen, you can kind of see some rocks in the background. And as for the box art, it kind of looks to be like some underground area with a hole of light, or a tunnel of light rather. So let's talk about the set itself. Obviously it does come with Kai, and it also comes with Cole and what looks to be Nia. And as for the villains, it comes with two troll minifigures. Now the colors are just awesome, I love that red and the gray. And this is a pretty big mech, like the Titan mech from Season 11, and the trade-off is that obviously this will cost more, I think it's around $70. But overall this is just a phenomenal looking set, and I will definitely be getting this one. The Titan mech is currently my favorite Ninjago mech ever, but this looks like it could be a contender for that position. Next up we have Journey to the Skull Dungeons, which is not to be confused with the actual Skull Dungeon. Now for this set we get the three silver ninja, those being Jay, Lloyd, and Nia. And we also get a troll too. Now this set is good but not great. I think it's a little bit blah, and there isn't really too much of a theme here. I just don't really feel like it's that special or memorable, but it isn't a vehicle set, which is definitely a good thing. You can actually see a cage towards the left side, and I believe Jay's in that cage, and then for the main build, there are just basically steps leading up to that main area. This set reminds me a lot of the Dojo Showdown from Season 4. There's a high ground area, and then a bunch of other details. I also want to point out that black sword with the white hilt, and that was also shown in the fire mech. I have a feeling that this could be the collectible for the season, although that would be kind of repetitive because season 12 had swords too. Last but not least, you can see a spinjitsu icon on the right, and it kind of looks like dice actually. Again, maybe implying a possible theme of board games going on here, I don't know, we'll have to see. Here is the legacy bounty, and I like this set. Now one change is that the head of the front is now brick built. That is kind of a trend that Legacy has been doing, after all the Ultra Dragon also had a brick built head. Or rather, four brick built heads I should say. But this one on the bounty looks pretty good to me. Interesting thing in the background, I think that is actually Dr. Julian's lighthouse. And we also have the sails, which if I'm right, I think those are a bit different, and they look a bit smaller to me. But the rest of the ship is definitely bigger, after all this set is more expensive than its original counterpart. For example, the bottom looks a lot bigger, and the back of the ship also looks a lot more show accurate. Maybe the bridge is back there as well. I don't know, we can't really see it too well, but again, it definitely looks more detailed. The drawback to this set though, I feel, is the minifigures. Now, this set comes with the four original Ninja, Wu, Samurai X, and also Child Lloyd. But I already have most of these minifigures from the original Legacy Wave. Only Child Lloyd is exclusive to this set. And me, personally, I already have the original Kid Lloyd minifigure, so I don't know if I need another one. You also may be wondering, where is Garmadon, because he was supposed to be here. But unfortunately, he was pulled from this set. Which is unfortunate to me, because if he did have the hairpiece and the mega weapon as rumor suggested, that would be pretty cool. And sadly, he's not here. While I feel the design of this set is pretty good, I don't feel this set is a must-buy, and I'll probably be spending more of my money on Season 13. Next up is, do we even really have to say much about this? This is pretty much a Legacy remake of another Legacy remake. Here is the Junior Stormfighter battle. As you can see, it has Jay's vehicle, a vehicle for Lasha, and a little monastery build. The Sword of Fire is actually in that little shrine if you look closely, and this set does feature Jay, Kai, and Lasha. Truth be told, I don't really care much about this set to say anything else, so I mean, I guess it's fine. Let's move on to some more exciting stuff though. Here is not Spinjitzu Surge, but it's actually being called Burst. Not exactly sure where the Surge name came from, but I kind of like it more, you know, with that alliteration. First things first, these guys are using the Legacy Masks, not the Sensei Hats. It appears those were just used to guard against copyright. And that is why the Lloyd minifigure never got revealed, because I don't think a green hat like that exists. I kind of like the straw hats, but this looks good too. Now, what exactly is Spinjitzu Burst? First. I'm not exactly sure, but it looks to me like you throw the contraption on the ground and then the ninja releases. 
So kind of like a die, you would roll a die, and here you roll this and the ninja will burst out. I don't know, that doesn't really sound too exciting to me, but I guess we have to wait for more info regarding this. Last but not least, here is Cole's burst, and we've already seen the minifigure, so I have less to say about it. Again, same deal as Lloyd's, you kind of have Cole in the middle of this contraption. I'm also wondering if these sets will have any accessories. Usually it is common for these side sets to include weapons or something, so perhaps these straw hats or swords could be included as side elements. But that is basically all for now. Again, we are still missing the Mino Creature, Skull Dungeon, Skull Sorcerer Dragon, and Woo's Dragon. Oh, and also the Kai Fighter. But overall, Season 13 looks pretty good to me. Again, I quite like the Firestone mech, and the Journey set is decent too. I'm really excited though to see more of those big sets. As for Legacy, it looks good too. I honestly don't really care that much about Legacy anymore, because it's more of a side thing now. In my opinion, the main sets are a lot more interesting, so those are the ones that I'll be getting. But yeah, this is looking pretty exciting, and I'll keep you guys updated if we get more. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share with anyone and everyone you know. Leave a comment explaining your thoughts on these sets, which ones do you like, which ones don't you like, and I'll see you next time.